So this is how you use Mediasite in order to record your lectures. So the first step is to go to the Mediasite website, which is go.osu.edu slash Mediasite. You'll need to click the Authenticate button and log in with your OSU username and password. All right, once you're in there, it'll take you to your media site page. This is everything that you've recorded or that others have shared with you. In order to record, you want to go ahead and click Create Presentation in the top left. Choose Record Desktop. So here, um, although it says it's optional, you really want to give it a name. So I will call this one Week 1, week one Recording. Then I will click the Record Desktop button. I already have the Media Site Recorder installed, so I will click Launch. You should have this installed on your computer at the college. If you're at home or on your laptop and you have the administrator rights, you can always click the Download Desktop Recorder. I'll click Allow, and I'm going to uncheck Always Ask, just so it doesn't ask me this question every time. And I'm going to click Allow and Do Not Show Me This Warning Again. All right, so that will open up your recording. You'll see that we're doing week one. And I have the option right now to just record. So I'm going to do that. So these options, Screencast Plus Audio, will record whatever's on your screen at a high frame rate. Slides Plus Video will record your screen at a low frame rate, but also a webcam video. And then Slides Plus Audio is what most people are going to use. That records your screen at a slower frame rate, which is great for PowerPoint presentations or demonstrating software, plus your microphone. I'm going to choose that. This is where you get to make sure your microphone is set up. So as you can see, these green bars are registering my voice. If it's not, you can always choose, click this drop down, microphone input, and make sure you're choosing the correct microphone. Um, if you choose one of the video options, you can manage your video settings there as well. So in the prepare mode, this is really where you want to get ready. So I'm actually just going to open up PowerPoint and I'm going to pull up my slides. From here I can click the next button. Um, I just want to capture the whole screen and that's usually what you want to do. So I'm going to click capture the entire desktop and it's going to count down. You'll see at the bottom it says this really useful tip to pause, press control plus F8. So what that does is, you know, as soon as that countdown does, it's completed your recording. So right now I'm on my title slide. Hello, this is the week one lecture, whatever. I want to move on to slide two. So I'm actually going to just pause by hitting Control plus F8. It'll bring up this message. Um, it'll tell you how long you talked, etc. Um, but I'm actually just going to click off to the side where my PowerPoint slide is. Go to the next slide you know, review that, maybe get my notes out or the textbook, make sure that I'm on point. And when I'm ready, I can just press Control F8 again, and it will start recording automatically. So right now I'm recording slide one. Um, I'm going to talk through my notes, 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 and once I'm ready to move on to slide two, I can actually just pause again, or I can go straight through by clicking on my mouse or using the space bar. Now I'm on slide two. Um, you know, there's some really interesting stuff here. Uh, blah 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 blah. Let's say I want to pause again, just control F8. You can click resume again, or you can just use control F8 on your keyboard once again and just restart. So anytime you find yourself stumbling or having a problem, or you want to review your notes or get out of the book, just control F8. You can either click resume, or you can use control F8 again to automatically start it back up. At the end, you just use Control F8, and it'll bring up the same menu, and you just choose Stop. That will complete your recording and upload it to the Media Site server. Once the upload is finished, like you see here, you can just click the Open Presentation button or the Manage Recordings. I'll click Open Presentation. Or not. Never mind, apparently that didn't work. but. So, oh, it worked. It opened up in the background. Okay. So beware. You might click Open Presentation, but it'll open up behind your PowerPoint. 
So right here you can see that my presentation is processing. I can check back later. I'll just go to one that I recorded earlier. So this testing and recording is one I made earlier. I'm going to actually just click on that with my mouse. You can preview it right here. Um, but most importantly, what you're going to want to do is click the share button. And what you really need is this link. So you can, you can get this link either by entering your email address right here, or just by copying and pasting. That's really all you need to know to get up and running with MediaSite.